I'm fortunate enough to have with me a guy that I've gotten to know quite well. I've been at his home. I've been with him at restaurants, and I know all about him. I'd like to tell you all the stories, but I couldn't. Mr. Wonderful himself, Jimmy Durante. In. I said. And Sonny King, a young fellow I knew a long time ago when I first started up. And one time you put me in a ring with you. You said, that train because you wanted to fight Walcott. I fought left-handed, and you missed me and put me in the hospital. <laughs> What'd you expect when you went in the ring with him? Huh? Lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about your friend. You know, I was born on the east side of New York. You know, Captain and Cherry Street. Not a corner was a saloon called George Horns. I was just a youngster. I don't know how old I was. But they had a kid come down there, and uh, they wanted to try this kid out. And I don't know how, why they picked on me. So I went up there, and uh, the fight started, and I was um, fencing, and this kid's manager stood on the sidelines there, and he, uh, come on, come on there, hit him on the beak, hit him on the beak. I turned around to see who was hollering, and he hit me on the jaw, and that was the last of my fighting career. What do you got over here? Jim, we got something we thought, you know, we want to make you comfortable, you coming over to see me, so this ain't comfortable for you, is it? Well, you want to sit over there? Let's do that. Well, let's sit over there. Say, Rocky, what fight are you showing now? Yeah, I want to show you the Bob Satterfield, Rex Lane fight. Satterfield? Do you so, remember him? So help me. He's my favorite. Oh, really? A great, great fighter. I thought he'd be a champion. He had to punch him. Boy, he could really hit. Consider and you know, I knew him well. Oh, really? Yeah, you know his favorite number? His favorite song was a song I wrote, and it's published by my own firm, and it went like this. I'll never forget it. Every time before a fight, I'd see him, and uh, I'd have to play this number for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he used to love this number. And every time he used to play this number before a fight, he'd win. No. Is this the Rex Lane fight? This is the Rex Lane fight. That's the fight I didn't play for him, and he got knocked out. He got knocked right? out. This is right. Right, huh? right Jim. Didn't want to send the plane fair. No, no. If you ever fight again, I'll guarantee you're going to win if you learn this. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, tell I me. I like how, it already. Oh, you <laughs> missed the spaghetti, huh? <laughs> Say, tell me something. This fight here, uh, you fought you fought Rex later, didn't you? On yes. account of that fight, he right. got a fight with you. He looked so good in this fight, Jim, that uh, he was the number one contender, see? And they said, Marciano has to get by this man, or they figured the winner of the Rex Lane Marciano fight would get a chance at the championship fight. So we were scheduled to fight, and we did fight. He was a rough customer. He was rough. The way I heard it later, from one of his, I think it was his manager or somebody, he said he fainted with his right, he faints with his left, he saw an opening, and he was flat on his back. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I like the one Jimmy says, I put a chips on my shoulder, and I told him to knock it off. The Not chip good. was still there, and After the whole shoulder was gone. <laughs> 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 I like that one. Really nice. There's the bell for the main event. Rex Lane versus Bob Satterfield. Jim, in my profession, this is what they call a war. What do you think of it so far? Well, I'm not fond of blood. <laughs> are you sure these two guys ain't mad at each other? They sure are, Sonny. They want to win. <laughs> Jim, I was there the night that Satterfield fought Rex Lane, and it was the most sensational win that a new young fellow ever had. This kid from the Midwest came in, an underdog, took Satterfield's best punch, which usually knocked the guy dead, got up from this knockdown and knocked Satterfield out. He was considered right there and then as probably the next heavyweight champion of the world. And then I had to face him. Well, you know something, Rock? No wonder he got knocked out. He didn't sing my tune. That's right, too. Jimmy, if I could coin a phrase, I'd call you the most main eventer. <laughs> 